Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be changing out the blades on a drone. This is a Holly Stone Series HS110D. This is the box, just in case you're wondering. And we will leave a link in the description below where you can find it on Amazon, just in case you decide you want to purchase it. Or maybe check out other drones that's in the same category. So on this particular drone here, as you see we have been flying it for a while, make sure you check out the other videos on this drone here. We did some camera footage, some indoor footage, and other videos. But here we have, as you see, this one is somewhat bent. And you know, it just has some scrapes on it here and there. Um, not really too concerned about the scrapes, but we are concerned about the bend in the uh, propeller here. So we're gonna at least go ahead and change this one out. And just to show you guys how simple or maybe difficult it is to change it. This is our first time changing it out. So we will see how it turns out. Let's go ahead and um, power it on real quick just to see. Nothing too noticeable, but a little bit during flight time, you may get a drift here and there, and it may be because of this propeller here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this one out. So let's go into the box and see what came with the drone so we can take care of this. So here we have the box open. Now, of course, you wanna turn the drone off when changing the blades, but I like the lights at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it on until we get ready to change the blades. As you see now, it is flashing red, and that is because I did turn off the controller is letting me know that it's not connected. I'm not gonna fly it right now anyway. But, all right, so these are some of the components that came in the box, and these are your like landing arms or whatever you call these. And we have our propeller replacement and a tool. I wanna say we have four propellers in here. Now we're just gonna change one because we're not worried about the little spots. And you have caution of the batteries and instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and, and take a peek at the instruction just to make sure I'm showing you guys the correct way of doing this and I don't miss a step. So, but for you, it'll only be like one second. So I just took a glance at the instruction just to make sure I'm showing you guys the right way. So once we unscrew this screw right there, you can see you will have two pieces. You will have the cap and it's a ring that's up under the cap. So you're gonna have those two pieces. You wanna sit those to the side along with the screw take the blade off, and then re replace it with the new blade. Now, when you're replacing it with the new blade, of course, they say make sure you pay attention to your letters and the which way they are turning. This propeller here has an A, and this one here has a B. So it makes a lot of difference. You don't want to put two Bs on there. It's not going to fly properly. So I'm going to go ahead and open the pack, unscrew this, and set everything to the side, and go from there. This is a neat pack, by the way. they got everything in here you need, the blade, screwdriver and some more components. We're gonna open it up and take a look. So here we're gonna go ahead and take everything out of the pack. Let's do that. And here we have the propellers. We got an A. We have two A's. Alright. Two B's. Neat looking little screwdriver. screws, some other components, not sure what those go to, some more smaller screws, and these are your caps for your lights, so I gave you two of these, just in case you decide to have a big crash, you can just about repair this drone, which is neat, uh, you definitely might need these screws, these may be something for the motor, like some a type of gear maybe, and you know, light pieces if you hit something in the corner, definitely going to mess that up but hopefully you don't crash that hard because if you crash that hard and this is spinning it might rip that off so it's something to keep in mind okay so i'm going to go ahead and take this loose 
It is about the smallest screwdriver I have ever seen. And the screw is not that tight in there, so you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, trying to force it out or force it loose, should I say. It's a nice turn and it comes loose. And you want to just sit there. This is pretty small, so I would use one of your light covers and sit it inside the light cover. All right, now we should be able to remove the cap. And I use the screwdriver to remove the cap. It should be a cap and a uh, ring. So they came off together. You can see it, the cap and the ring. And we're going to sit those also inside the light cap. Now, you should just be able to lift this off. There you go, you lift it right off. And we're gonna replace it with the new one. Now, when I did lift it off, as you see, make sure the blades are the same, they look the same, they're going to turn the same way. Don't put it on upside down, it's not gonna fly correctly. Make sure the A is pointing up and it's going in the right direction. And you do have some gears, as you see like an octagon or, you know, made like a stop sign in the middle. So it's gonna fit on there a certain way. So you wanna make sure when you do put it back on, you have to might, you might have to turn it till it fits, slide it back down, and it will fit back in place. Okay, then after that, you're gonna go ahead and put the cap and the ring back on. If you want to, you can put the ring back on first. Then you can put the cap back on. Now when you get ready to put the cap back on, there's a hole right there for the screw. And there's the hole again for the screw going. So you might want to try lining those back up to make sure everything fits the right way. And hopefully we have that lined up properly. If we don't, we'll find out shortly. It is a tiny screw, so if you have to, you have to be kind of careful not to drop it. So this is might be the hard part. And that's going to be lining this back up. So just bear with me. And the screwdriver does have like a uh, magnetized piece to where it holds the screw so it just doesn't fall completely out of your hand. Hoping we got it in the right spot. Seems to be going in so. We'll find out shortly. All right. And it is going and going and going. And like I said, it wasn't too tight. It's just enough to where you don't mess anything up. You don't want to over tighten it. And voila, that is on there. And you can do a test. You know, you can put the screwdriver up under it and see will it come up. And it doesn't. So therefore, that. Now this is the old blade. I'm going to go ahead and keep this old blade just in case because you only have four. You only have two of each type of blade. So if something happens to the other one, let's say it rips or something, at least I got this. I can try to maybe apply a little heat to smooth it back out on one end. So as you see, we have the new one installed. I'm going to go ahead and power the drone up and see how it works. Okay, now we have the blade on. We're gonna go ahead and connect the controller. As you see, the controller did say something. And we're gonna press the up, back, and now it's connected. As you see, we have blue lights. Cool blue lights. Now we're gonna go ahead and power it on. Ooh. Nice. Power it off. Right 
Okay, that's going to conclude today's video. If you like the drone, make sure you check out the link in the description below on Amazon and check out more information about this drone. But for now, we have just replaced the blade on the drone. And as you see, it is flying well. Everything came out nice and neat. And it was pretty, pretty simple. So, you know, pull out a screw, make sure you keep up with everything. That's the main part. And make sure you put the blade on the right way. And you're good to go. You know, give it a test flight and see how it does. And this one came out great. And as you see, we do have a lot more to do on this drone because we have a lot more features on this remote. But I power that thing off. And you see, we got speeds, we got roll, we got normal, we got camera, we got headless, we got engine start, and uh, the buttons that's like on the top. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to follow this drone and other drones that are on the way for this channel. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.